Hi guys, it's Charlotte and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we are going to be talking about three places that you can insert custom code into your Squarespace website. So this video, we're gonna be talking, yeah, all about ways and places you can add custom code to your Squarespace website, whether we're talking about CSS, HTML, markdowns, iframes, JavaScript, like sky's the limit basically with this. Um, before I continue on into it, I do have another video that I'm going to link to up above that talks about how custom code can affect page load speed and also have an impact on Squarespace SEO. So make sure that you take a look at that video that kind of goes in tandem with this one here where we talk about actually adding the code. So I am going to demo everything on my Squarespace website. You can see it. Just for reference, my Squarespace website is built with the Raleigh template, which is part of the Brine family in 7.0. But if you're using a 7.1 template, it's gonna be like pretty similar slash the same. So let's dive right into it and talk about how we actually add custom code to our Squarespace website. So I'm gonna share my screen here. Excellent. Good, good, good. Okay. Yeah. So here's the back end of my Squarespace website and let's get started. Okay. So the very first thing that we're going to be talking about is doing um, a code injection as a site wide feature. Okay. So to do this, the thing I want to mention is that this is adding code um, like kind of to your site site wide. So for the entire website, okay, not on a page by page basis or anything. And the reason why you might want to do this is maybe you want to embed um, or like attached to code for like a chat service or, um, you know, for analytics, or if you are, you know, connecting domain verifications for like your email newsletter or something like that. Um, and so adding a code injection on like a site wide feature is not intended for kind of like adding, co adding a code content or code styling. Okay. So to do this, once you're logged in on the back end of your Squarespace website, you're going to go here from the home dashboard and go down to where it says settings. And then you're gonna go down to advanced. And then you see there's code injections here. And this is where you're gonna be able to kind of add the code in. So you can just grab the code. You can see here on my Squarespace website, like I've got a lot of code going on, um, but you just basically like copy and paste it into this section. And then um, as you can see, it's gonna embed it into the header. But again, remember this is site wide. So it'll display on like all the pages and stuff across your website or display, but be associated with all of those ones, okay? So that's the first one. Now we're gonna move on to the second place that you might be adding code to your Squarespace website. And this is adding a code injection to a specific page on your site. So here, again, this is page by page basis. So you're gonna go to the main navigation, like the main dashboard or whatever. You're gonna go to pages and then select whichever page you want to do it. So in our case, I've just made a very basic demo page, you know, you can see here. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna click on the gear icon, which opens up the page settings. And then from here, click on advanced. And then you're just going to paste the code here into where it says page heading code injection. So simple, you know, copy and paste, well, simple copy and paste of the code, okay? And the thing that I wanna say here is that you're adding it to the header tag, like the header code of this particular page, okay? So it's, you know, it's a page by page basis. So if you want the same code to appear on several pages, you'd have to like, added in again. And a really quick note to talk about is that when you're adding page to a header here, it's only going to work on a normal page. So if you have like a, you know, an index page, like, you know, my home page is built with an index page, then it's not going to work on that front. So you have to use just like a regular normal page here. Okay. And then the third place that you might be adding a custom code injection is within the actual page content itself using a code block, okay? So when you're on the page, you can you know, insert here to open up all of the different content block options. And then if you just type in code, you'll see that you have a few different options. So you can use you know, whichever one you want, but in many cases, you'll probably be clicking the code block, okay? So I'm gonna show you a little bit like how this works here. Let's say, imagine I want to embed a form from my email provider onto this particular page. I just copy it to the click um, to the clipboard and then I'm just going to paste it in here and then click apply and you can see, wow, yep, great. Now the embed form 
um, or this form is now embedded using the code block onto this specific page. Okay, so super simple what we're doing here. And, you know, again, depending on which plan you're on, if you're on a, you know, basic plan versus a business business plan, you're going to get different code options of like how much you can do and um, go for it. And this is great because when you're using a code block or even one of the embed blocks or the markdown blocks and stuff, you can really change a lot more of the pages layout and um, design, you know, because it's a code block. So you can move it around, add it, you know, like add it into columns. You can add it next to an image as part of like the page content itself, whatever. So using the code block is a really wonderful way to get those, um, you know, get the custom code going on your page. And it's super simple. As long as you understand the code, you have to understand the code and what you're doing. That's the first bulb. And before I leave, uh, before you leave, finish this video, I want to mention that I have a really amazing free Squarespace SEO checklist here. It's a one page download. I'm going to link to it down below in the um, video description. But if you're interested in anything with Squarespace SEO and growing your website and making sure that you're kind of like dotting your I's, crossing the T's, all that sort of thing, this free Squarespace SEO checklist has been downloaded by thousands of people. And I know you're going to find it really helpful. So grab your copy down below. But otherwise, um, let me just see here. Um, otherwise, oh, there we go, back. Um, otherwise, take a look at some of the other videos that I have here on my YouTube channel. If you're interested in Squarespace SEO or like web design and development, growing your website, you know, online business, anything like that, I have lots more content to help you out here on my YouTube channel over on my website and my blog, charlotteohara.ca. I have so many free resources and guides and things to help you out with every step of your journey. And I really want you to have the best experience with your Squarespace website and growing that into the best thing it can be. So I hope you liked this video. If you did like it, like the video, is that what they call it? Leave me a comment down below. You can also subscribe to my channel for, you know, make sure that you don't miss any more of these videos and Otherwise, I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you had a wonderful day. Grab the free SEO checklist. I know you're going to find it super helpful. And that's it. I'll see you again soon in the next video. Bye, guys.